the mountain meditation. Sit with your back up straight, your head held high on your neck and shoulders, allowing your shoulders to fully relax and placing your hands on your knees. Close your eyes and bring your attention to the fact that you are breathing. Noticing each in-breath and each out-breath. Just observe your breathing without trying to change it in any way. Allowing your body to be still. Sitting with a sense of dignity, a sense of resolve, a sense of being complete whole in this moment, with your posture reflecting this sense of wholeness. And as you sit here, picture in your mind's eye as best as you can the most beautiful mountain that you have known, that you have ever seen or that you can imagine. Just holding this image and the feeling of this mountain in your mind's eye. Letting it gradually come into greater focus. Observing its overall shape. Its lofty peak high in the sky. The large base rooted into the rocks of the ground. its steep or gentle sloping sides. Notice how massive it is, how solid, how unmoving, how beautiful from both afar and close up. Perhaps your mountain has snow at the top and trees on the lower slopes. Perhaps it has just one peak or several peaks. Whatever its shape or appearance, just sitting and breathing with the image of the mountain. Observing it. Noticing its qualities. And when you feel ready, see if you can bring the mountain into your own body so that your body sitting here and the mountain in your mind's eye become one. So that as you sit here, you share in the stillness of the mountain. You become the mountain, rooted in the sitting position. Your head becomes its peak, supported by the rest of your body. your shoulders and arms, the side of the mountains, and your legs, the root. Experiencing your body as a sense of uplift from deep within your spine. And with each in-breath, becoming a little more of the mountain. Unwavering in stillness, completely what you are, beyond word and thought, a centred, rooted, a moving presence. And now as you sit here becoming aware of the fact that the sun travels across the sky, the light and shadow and the colours are changing virtually moment to moment. Night follows day and day follows night. A canopy of stars, the moon and the sun. But through it all the mountain just sits, experiencing change in each moment, constantly changing 
yet always just being itself. It remains still as the seasons flow into one another and as the weather changes, moment to moment, day by day. Calmness abiding all changes. In summer there is no snow on the mountain, except perhaps at the very top. In fall the mountain may wear a coat of brilliant fire colours. In winter a blanket of snow and ice. In any seasons it may find itself at times in clouds or fog, or pelted by freezing rain. People may come to see the mountain and comment on how beautiful it is or how it's not a good day to see the mountain. None of this matters to the mountain, which remains at all times its essential self. Clouds may come and clouds may go. The mountain is still beautiful and not changed one bit by the way people see it, nor by the weather seen or unseen, in sun or in clouds, day by day it just sits being itself, at time visited by violent storms, buffered by snow and rain and wind of unthinkable magnitude. Through it all the mountain continues to sit, unmoved by the weather, by what's happening on the surface by the world of appearances. And in this same way we sit in meditation. We can learn to experience the mountain. We can embody the sane unwavering stillness and rootedness in the face of everything that changes in our own lives over seconds, over hours, over years. In our life and in our meditation practice, we're constantly experiencing the changing nature of mind and body in the outer world. We have our own periods of light and darkness, our moments of colour and our moments of dragness. Certainly we experience in storms of very intensity and violence in the outer world and in our own mind and bodies. We endure periods of darkness and pain, as well as moments of joy. Even our appearance changes constantly, experiencing a weather of our own. By becoming the mountain in our meditation practice, we can link up with the strengths and stability and adopt it for our own. We can use its energy to support our energy to encounter each moment with mindfulness and clarity. It may help us to see that our thoughts and feelings, our preoccupations, our emotional storms and crises, even the things that have happened to us, are very much like the weather of the mountain. We tend to take it all personally, but its stronger characteristics is impersonal. The weather and our own lives are not to be ignored or denied. It is to be encountered, honoured, felt, known for what it is and held in awareness. And in holding it in this way we become to know a deeper silence, a stillness, a wisdom. Mountains have this to teach us and much more if we can only stop and listen. Now as this meditation comes to an end, bring your awareness back to your body again, feeling it as a whole. Allow this calmness to remain with you when you move. Congratulate yourself on having taken this time to nourish yourself in this way. And remember, this state of relaxation is accessible to you by simply paying attention 
to your breath in any moment, no matter what's happening in your day. Let your breath be a source of constant strength and energy to you. Start to bring your awareness now back into the room. Wiggling your hands and toes, having a stretch. And once you're ready, open your eyes.